everyone, <clears throat> it's Angie. And today I'm going to make a pansy using these four colors. My yellow hue, my ultramarine blue, white, and purple pearl. So I'm gonna need some Skinner blends. So I'm gonna do two of these ones because I'm gonna need a couple of them. So I wanna do them separate. <clears throat> Excuse me, so in, in the only thing I'm going to be doing is just folding these in half to make a diamond, a diamond, here I go, a diamond, a triangle, <laughs> a triangle shape. I don't know where this diamond's coming from with me today. Anyway, I'm gonna do a triangle. And I'm just gonna stick them together like so. And I'm just gonna pinch these over. Just doing a quick one. I'll show you the yellow one first since I've already got it going here. And to make it, you start from the bottom and go up. So I'm gonna put it through my roller. Then we're gonna fold it in half. Put it through again, bottom to top. And we will keep doing this until they start blending. Like so. It doesn't matter how long it's gonna go this way because we are going to do a jelly roll with it. So we'll just keep doing it. And this is gonna be the center part of or one of the sections of our um, pansy. So I'm just gonna keep doing this until, see how it's starting to blend? Until I get a nice blend out of it. And I'm going to do the same thing with the rest here. Okay, I'll see you when I get back. Okay, so I've done all these and rolled them up. So now I just have this yellow one to do. And with this, I'm gonna roll, fold it in half. And then I'm gonna put it through on my pasta machine on my second largest setting. So that's what I've been rolling on. I'm gonna do the yellow then white in case it picks up any particles along the way. And then you get this. So now I'm just gonna take my pasta machine. And I know I can online because I do it all the time. I just go right down to number two. I don't like one. I find it a bit too thin to work with, especially in the warmer weather. So anyway, I take it right down to my two, which is my second thinnest, and I'll roll it through on my pasta machine. And it's going to look like this. So now we're just going to put it into a jelly roll. So you can even out the end if you want, which I'm going to because I see a little pink on there. I'm just going to take that off because I don't want the pink on it. And I kind of doubled that up a little bit, but that's all right. So you're just going to take it and just gently and try to keep air bubbles out or the air out of your clay and roll it. But give it a little bit of pressure here in the middle, not tons, but enough that it takes out the um, air that may get trapped in it. Just slowly, gently. Roll it up so it's all even. Get the sides a little squish if you need. And keep on rolling. And my clay is picking up my package of clay that I was using. You have to be careful because if it sits too long like this, it will stick to each other this one's starting to do. <laughs> and we'll just keep rolling it up. And I'll unfold this and stick it back on there. If I can. No, I'll just stick it back on. Because it's just all yellow anyway. So then you're going to squeeze in the middle, 
So what if there is any air trapped in there, you're going to get it out. Oh, I'm not reducing these. What am I doing? We're keeping this size, but we do need to get the air out if there is any. And just roll it a little bit. And I'll just push it back down. So there shouldn't be any air. But sometimes there still is, but I'll do that with these two. Just give it a little push and a little roll. And a little roll, and we'll do that with all of them. So now we need to cut this in fours. Get this going here. And after you cut this into fours, you're going to lay them beside each other like this and push them together and start reducing, as I've already started with this one. I'm going to set that aside and you're just going to start pushing it together and reducing it. You can use your roller. Like so. And you're going to keep reducing. Pushing because you want to get this into a long rectangle. And don't mind my hands. I've been playing with black paint earlier, painting things. Once we get this out a little ways, we're going to cut it in half and place it back together again. Once it gets really soft like it is now, you can just wiggle it and it'll stretch right on out. So now we'll cut it in half. And we're going to put it together again like this. Now I'm going to reduce this again. And when I'm finished with this, I'll be back. All right. I'm going to cut it in half again. I could use my ruler that I have up here. I'll also take it to three inches. Give it a little pull. Pretty easy. It's so nice and soft right now, so I'll take it 1.5. My eyes are correct. I don't know if it is or not, but anyway. And there we go. Yeah, see, my eyes apparently are really messed up because that's quite a little bit of a difference. Let me stretch this one out some. <laughs> Let's shrink it back in a little bit. There. I like using my acrylic block when I'm trying to do smooth edges like this. Now this might be as far as I'm going to go with this one. If I do, it'll only be one more, but well, I'm thinking this is pretty good for one of the pebbles. 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 Now I'm throwing stones. Anyway, it's kind of cool. All right, so our next one is... Yes. Our next one is this in blue. Now I'm beginning to think I should have probably did my blue reversed. Let's see what it does for us. This in blue, this in blue. Just debating on which one I want to use. I use this one. So it was those two. Now we're doing three colors. 
Yes, it's my first time doing a pansy and I'm really at my brain overloaded today. I want to chop the ends off of this because they're not as pretty as I would like for them to be. Is that one? And I probably should have did the blue on the outside, but that's okay. I really don't mind. I did this with all of them because I was thinking it was going in the same way, but yeah, that's all right. We'll see how it comes out. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. So we're doing this. And then the purple and then the blue. And then a purple and a blue. Purple. And again, you can either cut this in half, put one on each end, or you can leave it like that. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So then we're gonna just start squeezing this together. Getting these pushed in, the ends pushed in. Again, you can use the acrylic block. My knuckle just cracked. Hmm. Push down. And it helps you um, with not so much waste when you do it this way. I find anyway. Just get a little pushes. And then when I start getting it into a nice shape, I'll take up my roller, start using that. And again, we want to get it in this way and out this way. In. So these are getting all close to each other, those little lines. That's going to make the pattern. And out this way so we can cut it in half and stack it. So we'll do a push, another push. Ends. Now I'll take my roller out. And just start rolling. Push my ends again. your hands you can do it that way too like I said I tend to use everything I have <laughs> all right once I get this out the way I want it I'll be back all right so I've gotten this far so far now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this out again and I will be um, cutting it in half and stacking it again. Maybe one more time. I did this one one more time and I like it better. So I'm definitely going to do this one more time. Now I might end up doing it more than that. Let's see how far I am right now. Almost two. So I can definitely take this to two, cut it in half, and see what I might be looking at. Well, see, even with the ruler, I'm just having a hard time. And I totally cut that off black. Blade coming off to the side on me. But, um, two might be enough once I squeeze it up. Not two. It might be enough. I've probably done this one, I don't know, three, four times. It's really to whatever you like. And I kind of wanted it, you know, with these colors all close. The colors, not the white. Well, yeah, I'm going to 
do this, reduce it again, and see what I think. I might stock it again, I might not. We'll see. <clears throat> um, like I said, I haven't done a pansy before. This is new to me. I'm just kind of thinking in my head what it should look like. I don't even know if I should have that much white in there, but I do. So maybe next time I go to make one, I won't put as much white in it. Let's do this again. Stack her again. Yeah, I'm doing it one more time. I think that should be plenty. So I'll reduce this again. And then we'll move on to those three. Let's see what we come up with. So after I'm done reducing this, I'll be back. Okay, this is what I have so far. Yeah, I'm still contemplating. I guess until we put it together, it's gonna be a guessing game. So with this one here, well, first of all, I kind of like to have them all the same length, height, width. Oops. So I'm gonna have to trim some off of this one. What I wanna do is just go right down the line. There. So with these, I'll start with this one. Since this one is our main color, drop it in four. And we want our blue. And we want our yellow. So, I'll put that one there. Somehow I gotta squeeze my yellow in here. In the back. here. I'm going to put one in here like this and we'll squeeze them together. And I'm not, yeah, I'm only doing half because it's just too much clay. That's the only reason why I did that. And we'll just push these all in. Yeah, so I'll just do the half. Ruler, I'm gonna start rolling it like this. Just like so. I should have put another blue in there, maybe. I don't know. We'll go with this one. If we don't like it, we can always... I have another half that we can play with. Ugh, oh, my thumb hurts after a while. It's definitely a lot of reducing in this one. A lot of Skinner blends, a lot of jelly rolls, and a lot of reducing. If this doesn't turn out, you won't see it. <clears throat> because I will not put it up. All right, got this in half soon. It's 
zoom like right now. Only because the yellow looked better for a center. But I'm gonna be stacking it again. So I'll just keep pushing and pulling. Every now and then push on your ends. It does help with not so much scrap clay. Once it gets to a point anyway, you can just give it a little jiggle and that'll stretch it right out. Once this is soft, it doesn't take much. See, back at three already. Get the right side of the blade going here. And we'll cut it in half. And yeah, my blade went on an angle again. And we'll stack it again. See, it's starting to look pretty cool. I sure didn't get that centered very good though, did I? And I'll stretch this out again. Just push in. Turning, pushing more. You know what, instead of boring you to death, I'll come right back when I've got that done. Okay. I did it another time. Um, this is what I got. I rounded it off a little bit. For a petal. So we'll do that with this these. So all you're gonna do, because the white is the inner, I'm just gonna give it a pinch. Turn it over, do the same. And just round off the uh, top. I'll just take my fingers and go up and down with it. You can use your table, your ceramic tile, whichever. And just push down. Because you want this to come into a more of a point. Give it a little round, smooth it out. And this will go like this. I'm going to trim off the end of this because it's quite long compared to this one. I'm just only going to be part of it. And we'll do the same with this. The blue is going to be the inner. here. So I want to pinch it off a little bit more. This is going to go here. Now if you think this looks like a pansy, please tell me because I most certainly don't. I'm going to trim off that edge and I'm going to get a wet wipe here. Yeah, I'm not really seeing it. Nah. Excuse me. Maybe if I cut some, how did that get full of fuzz? Probably my fingers from the baby wipe. Maybe stick these together like so. more like one. I just have to pinch it all in a little bit. So let's try that. See how it'll look. I 
pinched in there more. I used too much white is what I feel like I did. Oh, my mom's messaging me. Let's do that like that. Oh, my hand. Got a good old pinch. So that's got to fit. Like that. Squeeze that one there. Yeah, I'm thinking it looks more just like a flower. You guys let me know what you think. I am gonna keep working on these though. I'll try and do them in different colors. See if I can get it looking better than this. Doesn't look too bad. <clears throat> I guess. For my first one. There, that's it right there. <clears throat> you can fill it in with translucent clay if you like. I'm not going to right now. Only because I'm in pain. From all the reducing, but yeah, it's kind of cool looking. I'm not sure if I would call it a pansy, but it's kind of getting there. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed it anyway and got something out of this. Um, other than, you know, a lot of reducing. I don't really have a lot of scrap clay other than this little bit here because the rest really isn't scrap clay to me. I'll still use it in other projects, but another I'm gonna, because I'm gonna still try and defeat the pansy. But there, that's it. So please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this one. Positive or negative, I need to know. I'm a big girl now, I think I can take it. But anyway. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Probably said that a hundred times. If I did, I apologize. And until next time, take care of yourself and see you later. Bye.